Bernadette here and um, excuse the fresh faced no makeup look I actually wasn't planning to do this Facebook live today in fact I will tell you what happened uh, typical day school run take the kids to school lots of meetings today and right at the end of the day I was in a meeting where a member of my team referenced um, that she'd heard from someone who'd heard from an expert on digital marketing that lead magnets are dead and after I mopped up after I'd swooshed the tea out of my mouth um, it really got me going <laughs> because um, I want to just hop on and correct a couple of misconceptions that may be holding you back in business and um, you know me I'm always someone that tells the truth about what's going on in my business with marketing and I just don't like the idea that you're being led up the garden path by so-called experts. So let me talk about a lead magnet first of all. So here is an example of a lead magnet. Here's one that we use in my business. We have a few of them. This was one, how to sell if your course will sell. We typically offer this um, as free information and we offer it in, in exchange for an email address. And um, I will admit that these days we're offering um, our lead magnets to get more than an email address. It might be that we're offering it as a to get a YouTube uh, subscriber or to get a messenger address. So it's not just emails, but primarily we started out with emails. And the idea is you offer a piece of value to your target audience to get them to raise their hands, to get them to give you permission to mail them. And it starts as a place to start a conversation where you can engage with that, that other party and find out more about their needs and explain what you have to offer, etc. And this works whether you are selling an e-commerce product, whether you're selling information products and coaching, as in my business. It can work if you're selling services. It's, it works. And I wanted to share something because um, I have been in business for quite a long time. Um, I, this June, it will be 22 years since I started in business. This is an article that I wrote way back in let me see if I can hold it up to show you is it gonna come up on the print ah yes it will if I can show you the thing oh it's on this side March 1999 <laughs> I'm a dinosaur I'm officially a dinosaur or I prefer vintage darling <laughs> not a dinosaur why am I sharing with you with this because I didn't even have an online presence then. This That was uh, several years before I got online and grew a multi-million dollar business online. But when I wrote this article, right at the end of the article, there was a call to action at the end of the article with an 0800 number inviting the reader to, to dial in for a free report. Oh, what does that sound like? It's a piece of value and a call to action, offering a piece of value, inviting the person to take the next step. We didn't call that a lead magnet back then, but that's essentially the same strategy that was working back in 1999 to grow a business that got me corporate clients like Sony, Aviva, that we Norwich Union back then, AIG. That's how I started a relationship with all of those um, organizations. This is the same strategy that I've then been using online. I can't claim ownership of it. I didn't make it up. I learned it from Dan Kennedy. And um, back in the day, I used to refer to it as an ethical bribe. I remember when the coaching crew started up back in, uh, in Coachville's days, I think they're still around, but they used to call it pink spoon marketing. And um, I think it was Ryan Dice that coined it lead magnet. And if lead magnets are dead, somebody should probably tell Ryan Dice that, you know, his the business that did 100 million last year based on using lead magnets is uh, in trouble, but I don't think uh, Ryan's got any concerns. Here's the problem. Lead magnets are not are not dead. Now, the way that they might be being used or exchanged or this precise information that you might request, it might not be an email address. It might be a messenger contact. It might be something, something else, but the strategy isn't going away. And the reason I got so much on my high horse about it, I have calmed down a little bit now, is um, if you're, if you're basing decisions that you're making in business based on the short term fashion, the fads, and you're trying to jump from the latest shiny tactic to the other, you're never going to have a long term business. I've just shared I've been in business since 
for 22 years this June. Okay, I wouldn't have stayed in business that long if I relied on what the short term tactics were. <laughs> It's by understanding the principles that, that go beneath this. It's not the lead magnet that really makes the difference, whether you call it a lead magnet, a pink spoon, an ethical bribe, whatever you want to call it. The, the point behind this is having a target audience, understanding what they want, giving it to them and making it easy for say yes. So free information is typically the easiest thing to say yes to, particularly if you package it up in a nice PDF that's easy for them to consume, instant gratification, that always works well. And then you use that as the starting point. That isn't changing. So I really don't care what you've been reading or hearing online that lead magnets are dead. They absolutely are not. And what will never get old and will never get old out of fashion is having this precise target audience that you want to sell to, understanding their needs and give it to them. And that is the reason that I've been in business for 22 years. That is the reason I plan to be in business for at least another 22 years and, and counting and more. And there is nothing in the world, there is no magic pill that you can take to eliminate that. Now, here's why the bright, shiny objects and the, oh, but this is the latest thing is so attractive because it's easier to jump on that and convince yourself that you're jumping on the latest tactic than it is to actually do the work. Because do you know something? Figuring out what people really want, it can make your head hurt. I've been in a Facebook group today for a group of people who are coming to my sales breakthrough event and, you know, they're, they're describing brain ache <laughs> as they were getting really clear on what their lead ma magnets are for their target audience. And they're getting really clear about the compelling languages that really speaks to and resonate with their target audience. That's work, but it's work that gets results. So um, I just wanted to hop on and say hello to those of you who are joining me. I just re really wanted to clear this up. If you're hearing that lead magnets are dead, I would say if someone is saying that to you, you really should start sprinting and running the opposite direction because they really don't know what they're talking about. And absolutely use different language if it works for you. Like I said, ethical buy, pink spoon, lead magnet. But th the thing to notice is what's really going on in the transaction. So whether it was an article back in 1999, last century, or you know, a piece of information here that we have used to add thousands of people to my email list in in the last year. Now, it's the same, it's exactly the same principle. In this one, you needed a phone and 0800 number because that was the easiest way to get people to respond back then. We didn't have autoresponders. We didn't have websites for people to go to. This one, people just click a link and they put in their email and address and download it. But I want to point out to you, it is exactly the st same strategy. Look, black and white, last century. Full color, automated, digital. There you go. So that's it from me. Would love to hear your thoughts on this. Have you been hearing the rumors that lead magnets is dead? Was it ruffling your feathers? Was it perturbing you? Um, I would love to know. Do leave a comment below. That's it from me. The kids' tea is late tonight because I wasn't planning to be up here doing this Facebook Live. But I just, when I heard this, I was like, I have to hop on and just clear up this misconception. So that's it from me. Thank you for your attention. I look forward to seeing you soon. Lots of love. If you like this video and you want more, the good news is I got plenty more where that came from. The first step for you, see that button down there? Big red button. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe.